right, here we go. I'm trying to get back into the... Well, I can't really say I ever built a routine for making these videos, but... Just trying to keep it up, if I can. Even if it's inconsistent. Even if I'm consistently inconsistent. Yeah. But okay. What I wanted to talk about today was something that I wrote the other day. It was the curse of money. And what I wrote was, or at least the way that I was perceiving money that day, it's, it was kind of like a, like a curse in a way. Or at least maybe not money itself, but the way that I'm handling money, right? So I'm under this mentality right now of saving. Saving and saving and saving and saving. So then, if something comes up in terms of maybe like something I want to learn, then I think, oh man, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to spend money right now to, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to spend money right now in order to learn that certain skill because if I do, like it'll be a lot more money that I have to spend in order to do it and I don't want to spend right now, like I feel like money is short, so I want to try to save it, you know, put it in a savings account, whatever, so that hopefully it can grow over time. Which, I mean, it will, but obviously it's not as fast as anybody would want it to be. The problem with that, I, uh, with the problem with that idea, right? And this is what I wrote. I'll just go off of this really quick. I put the curse of money. Trying to save it by avoiding investing in yourself or other things. Leading to bitterness or depression. I'd say more dissatisfaction. Because of what you do not, because of what you do not accomplish in an effort to save because of the things that you don't accomplish in an effort to save. I didn't really proofread it. You save money, but you stress yourself out and deprive yourself of growth, even if money may be tight as a result. At least you would have the satisfaction of doing something that you wanted to learn. So what I mean by this, right, is that I've been noticing lately that when I want to do something, you know, I started recently taking equestrian lessons. So that was one thing that I thought was good. You know, I take about, it's about $40, $40 a lesson which isn't too bad you know I mean they provide the horse the saddle they basically provide everything you go in the first few days you know they, they saddle up your the, the horses for you and then after that you uh, you're supposed to go in you know get your horse ready saddle them up brush them if you have to stuff like that maybe clean their hooves it depends I think it depends on who's there that day some people kind of motivate you to do it or want you to do it other people are more like oh just get your horses ready whatever let's get on with the lesson and so then you go you do your lesson I'd say obviously they teach you and even if they're not teaching you a lot sometimes just a simple fact of being on the horse and just kind of doing it week every week right because it is weekly or at least right now I'm doing it weekly uh, it does get you at least the more accustomed to the idea of riding and kind of building that connection with a horse especially uh, especially actually if you're riding the same horse week after week so before I remember that when I started they put me with this one horse her name was Delia very sweet horse uh, she's a mare and then later they switched me to another horse named Champ. He's a, he's a stallion. Or at least I think he is. I, I think he's full. Or whole. Sorry, I, I don't know a lot of my terminology. At, at least not in English. Regardless, so now I've been riding Champ for a while. I remember in the beginning it was a little tough. But, you know, week after week I got a little more accustomed to it. You get more comfortable with, you know, kind of like, you know, telling the horse to like go, you know, kind of like hitting their side so that they can start, you know, going into a trot or whatever it may be, stopping them, you know, you get a, a feeling for your reins and, and how you're supposed to pull them, you know, you pull them more like towards your like stomach versus in like your chest or like up, up here, you know, you put, and, and I'm also learning English style, which is different from Western style. So there's like a bunch of things that you start learning. However, like I said, it's $40 a week, pretty good, not bad, it's not too far from home. I think it takes me maybe like 15 minutes to get there. Okay. But the thing is, and now I think about other skills that I want to learn, one of them being, you know, like how to sing. How to sing properly. I think that's uh, that's something that I do enjoy doing. However, I feel like I'm not really doing anything with it. First of all, I don't know how to professionally sing or anything like that. I've never taken lessons, and I feel like I've also never really gone online to truly uh, learn. You know, try to find the things online that kind of teach you how to do it. Try to learn. So there's that. There's guitar as well. I know I can play guitar to an extent, but I also feel that I haven't really. That I'm not really. I wouldn't say that I'm at, a, at an intermediate level. I'd say I'm still fairly beginner. But because of that, because I have actually haven't really sat down to really start learning a lot of the foundations of guitar playing, you know? Well, uh, there's other things, let's say, like maybe MMA or Muay Thai. 
to say. You know, something that's more geared towards self-defense, right? Okay, there's that too, that I haven't really learned. Maybe there's also shooting classes that I could take, something like that. Um, you know, I'm a concealed carry and all that, so I'm into guns. I'm into guns a fair amount, and I believe in self-defense and all these other things. So then I think that maybe that would be something else that I could do. Take, you know, classes for, uh, like, self-defense, but also for, like, marksmanship. Classes for maybe... I've seen these classes where they teach you how to use weapons in, like, a house area, like, like in a home setting, domestic setting, and, like, how to clear rooms and everything. And I know maybe that's going a little overboard, but I also thought, hey, I mean, sometimes learning those skills wouldn't be bad. Maybe some life-saving skills beyond, let's say, BLS or CPR, anything like that, right? Maybe something like that, you know, maybe how to apply a tourniquet or how to, you know, resuscitate somebody. I, I know CPR is a big part of that, but, you know, th things of that nature, right? Well, I don't know if that's resuscitating necessarily, but you know what I mean. Regardless, I'm going on tangents. The thing is, I've been realizing that when you start thinking about all, all of these things that you want to learn, a big factor is money and time. First of all, time you never get back. The time that you let go to waste, you'll never recover. Money, in a way, you can still recover, right? Because even if, let's say, if you're working for an hourly wage, even if you let a certain amount of money go, you can technically earn that money again by working for a number of hours, right? But then if you're able to do something different, work for, you know, do a better job, work on a project that might yield more money and everything, then you can kind of offput those losses because then instead of earning, let's say, 18, 20 an hour, now you can learn, now you can earn, let's say, 50 or 60 an hour because you put in the effort, whatever, you did something different or, I don't know, something changed that you can earn more money than what you used to earn before within the same frame of time, right? But again, when, you, when you're talking about time, that's time that it's gone, you can never get back. So the thing now that I've been thinking about is, is it worth it? Is it worth it to try and save money sometimes when there are things that you want to do and it doesn't have to be necessarily learning a skill. Sometimes it can be, you know, going on a vacation or trying out a new restaurant or I don't know, different things like that, right? And it's, is it worth it? Because then I think, well, I'm piling up this money, putting it in a savings account, maybe hiding it under my mattress, something. And so in my eyes, it's I'm building this little bank account, this little piggy bank or something, right? But then it's, but then I'm not really learning the things that I want to learn or doing the things that I want to learn. And I get it, everybody's situation is different. But then I think, but then if, if you can do it in a way where you find it and you administer it, where you can do something that you pay, let's say over, over a week, over a month or anything like that, wouldn't that be better even if you'll have less money but wouldn't it be better to do that so that that way at least you have the satisfaction of I'm learning something, I'm doing something that I've thought about doing for a long time versus ah, I'm not going to do that because I want to save money, right? I want to save it, I don't want to waste it because money's tight, this, this, and that. Because then I think it's kind of counterproductive. Sure, you have that money there, but again, sometimes the money might still, you know, come and go and you might lose it regardless of how you, you spent it. You know, maybe you spent it on... I don't know, maybe food, because you didn't realize it, but maybe you went out to eat maybe three, four times this week, which might be more than usual for you. Or you spent it on some, I don't know, pair of shoes that you were like, oh, I really like them today, and then later you were like, yeah, actually, you know, they're not that good. Whatever, but I already bought them. Can't return them anymore. Whatever it may be, cool. You know, just stuff like that. So then I think about it, uh, and it's, is it really worth it? Is it really worth it to save like that? Is it worth it kind of off-putting uh, that? The, the trying to learn something new for the sake of saving or should it be you know learn something new and spend money even if you might not have as big savings or even if you might maybe even break even but at least that way you're learning a skill so that that way and actually it just it just occurred to me that way you're also making yourself more marketable in a way right because i feel that when you're as a person the more you learn the more that you build yourself, the more that the more value that you can provide to society in many different ways. You know what I'm saying? The more that you can provide, the more useful, the more marketable you will be in everything. So then I think, I guess really the main message in this video is, because I feel like I'm asking myself all these questions in a way, but realistically I feel that the main message I want to convey after just thinking about it not only before, but now that I'm actually verbalizing it, is that I feel that it's always better that even if you do have savings and all that, if you can afford hopefully, or if you can at least administer yourself in a way that's smart, calculated per se, right? If you can afford to spend money on some sort of lesson, maybe you already tried learning it online and you still feel like you might need a little bit more guidance or something, or like I said with the, with the equestrian lessons, that's not really something that I can do on the internet alone. 
You need a horse. You need a saddle. You need a place to ride them and do all this other stuff. And you probably need people that are experienced with these animals, you know, because they're big animals, you know, they can be dangerous if you're not careful with them, I guess, like with anything else, right? Any other animal, any other tool, anything like that, right? So you kind of need that environment. You need to pay for those classes because they'll provide you the resources so that you can learn it. So I've been thinking that if you can try to do that in a way that's smart, I'd say go for it. Try not to focus so much on money and don't let it become a curse to you or some sort of, uh, some sort of, uh, like, obstacle in a way because even if you are spending the money for this skill you can at least have the satisfaction and the pride of knowing that you're learning something new right and hopefully you're taking it serious so that that way you can build yourself but besides that besides building yourself so that that way you have the satisfaction of hey i'm doing something that i said that i wanted to do a long time ago and i feel like that's way more important because now that i'm doing the equestrian lessons that's good but then like i said it makes me think about all the other hobbies that I have and all the other things that I'd like to learn besides like just going back to school or for a career that's another one some people you know I mean me included right I'm afraid of going back to school simply because of the fact that I that I think man if I go back for my master's man I really don't want to go and have to spend you know 20 30 40 50 60 thousand on a master's degree or something like that right and I know that there's probably ways to kind of get around it you know maybe grants or maybe scholarships that you could find things like that right who knows again if you don't look you won't know but I feel like even with that in mind, I still feel that I have to kind of kind of get over that fear. It's dumb, and I'm not saying I'm not saying for everybody that, oh, school's the only answer. Absolutely not. There are people that make it without school. School is not the only answer, by no means. I think it's nice to have it, but it's not necessary. Uh, at least for, like, college and stuff. I feel like, you know, basic high school, all that, I feel like that should be done, obviously. I feel like there's a lot of things that can be learned there, even though there's definitely a lot more that they could teach you besides some of the things that they teach you that... And at the end of the day, I feel like are kind of unnecessary, but regardless, that's a whole other conversation to have. But I do feel that uh, if you did go to school and if you want to choose a career that really you can only do through school, like uh, healthcare, you know, anything having to do like healthcare, if you want to be a doctor, you know, a physician or a, a therapist, chiropractor, physical therapist, anything like that, right? It's like you have to you have to go through school. Same with a lot of other careers. If you want to be an engineer, you have to go to school, things like that. And so I feel that at the end, or in the end, if there's something that you truly want to be and it means going back to school and you know having to pay money for it i'd say go for it it sucks you know because of the debt and everything but at the end of the day it's time passes you won't get it back and if you don't you know if you don't do the things that you've been wanting to do even if it means you'll get in a little debt then i mean what will it all be worth it's like okay i'm not in debt sure but then you're also not the person that you want to be Right, and unfortunately, maybe to get to that point, it will require you to get in a little bit of debt. So I'd say just really, like when you're making decisions like that, I'd say really write it out, weigh the pros, weigh the cons, and just think, if I do this, will I be happy with myself? Will I be proud? Will I be content? Will I develop myself? Will I do something that I've always been wanting to do? And if the answer is yes, then I'd say go for it, and don't think too much about the money, don't think too much about the consequences. Still be smart about it though, and try to see what you can do to minimize that burden on yourself. But I'd say definitely go for it. And if it's something much smaller that doesn't involve, let's say, like schooling, like a master's, a degree, or anything like that, right? If it's just about a skill or something that you want to acquire, I'd say go for it. I'd uh, don't think so much about the money. Think about the time that you'll be spending learning something new. Think about potentially the connections that you'll make, the friends that you'll make along the way, the experiences that you'll have, and just think about it that way. Again, don't let money become a curse to you. I know that money is important and I know that money, I know it's not the only thing in the world, but, but it sure makes life a hell of a lot easier, you know? But even then, man, don't let it control you. There's so much more in life that, uh, and again, it depends on who watches this video that might be like, oh man, this guy doesn't know what I'm talking about. Or maybe I don't, who knows? But at least this, these are my two cents. Just don't let money become a burden. I know it's always a burden, especially when it's in short supply for us people. But if you can try to use it to make yourself somebody that you want to be, Take a look for it. Just be careful, you know, weigh the cons, weigh the pros and all that. Really think about it, but definitely I'd say go for it. Make yourself the person that you want to be, even if you had to, you know, pay a little bit for it. Fortunately, sometimes that's just the way things are. So if you can learn something new and you can learn something that'll make you be proud of yourself, and hey, uh, then I'd say go for it because who knows, maybe that money that you're spending, think about it like an investment. So that that way, once you get to like a specific point, learning this new skill or anything, or whatever it may be, you may be able to actually make money from it because you took time to learn from it. I guess you could look at it as delayed gratification, I suppose, where you know, you're, you're spending it now, but then you'll make it tenfold. You'll make it back tenfold in the future. Who knows? Something like that. So just something to think about. 
be careful however to you are if you're still somebody that likes to save and everything i'm pretty sure you can kind of find the balance between both between doing what you want to do building yourself and saving so that that way you have at least uh like an emergency fund if anything goes wrong in the end be careful be safe stay blessed and uh hope everything goes well for whoever watches this video and anybody else too best of luck and thank you